Welcome to another episode of Marketing Tips for Doctors. I'm your host, Dr. Barbara Hales, and today we're privileged to have with us Dr. Zilin Wang. Dr. Wang is an innovative cardiologist, and he's the founder and CEO of WMD Heart Care. He has over 21 years of practice experience. Dr. Wang worked in academic and private practice settings as well. He has built up cardiac imaging centers, atherosclerotic plaque volume reduction treatment models, and a diabetic reversal program. He's also been actively engaged in clinical trials. Welcome to the show, Dr. Wang. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me, Barbara. Dr. Wang, what would you say is the most challenging patient that you have encountered in your diabetes reversal program? Uh, the most challenging one is uh, recently I have a 60 years old uh, Caucasian male and who have, has had diabetes for many, many years, have a diabetic uh, neuropathy, and she, he's on many medications for diabetes. Also, he's on very high dose of insulin daily, like 62 units a day. And uh, I took a challenge with him. And uh, in two and a half months, I'm successfully win off his insulin. And right now, he's, uh, he, uh, he's uh, on only one medication for diabetes. And his hemoglobin A1C has dropped down from 7.9 to 6.7 and 6.4. And his sugar is in very good control. And uh, he feel much better. He's working eight to 10 hours a day near his uh, 300 acres uh, um, farm. Well, that's very impressive. Uh, what would you say is the unexpected result that you have gotten uh, working with your patients and what has most excited you? Well, uh, I've been always uh, told that once you have a diabetic neuropathy, it's irreversible. But uh, on this particular patient I just talked about, he has no longer have any symptoms of uh, diabetic neuropathy. He told me his uh, leg pain is all gone, his uh, numbness uh, all gone, and he he feel he used to feel like a very heavy feeling on his leg, and he's all gone. That's very exciting me because that's really totally changed a lot of things in terms of diabetic care. That is very impressive. And what that tells people is that you must always have hope because even though at one point they say something can be done or not done, you've proven them wrong. That's correct. That, that's really excites me. And I think that there's a lot of potentials in terms of uh, uh, diabetic reversal. What is the feedback from your patients who have reversed their diabetes? I can't imagine they wouldn't be thrilled. That's right. Uh, most of them um, feel uh, that they don't have to take an insulin. They don't have to take oral medicine. They don't have to check their sugar every day. And that's really liberates them. And also, uh, you know, some patients have a hypoglycemia. So that's a miserable feeling. Some even pass out. While well, my oldest patient who have uh, changed her mind, decide join my program. Uh, at age 86, she converted back, uh, become non-diabetic. The whole motivation is uh, she went to the emergency room frequently for hypoglycemia. Could you tell our listeners a little bit about your diabetes reversal program? Well, the diabetes reversal program is very intense. Weekly, sh doctor supervise the program. Our uh, mechanism is, uh, first of all, uh, we touch to the bottom or the root of problem, which is a uh, hallmark of diabetes is uh, insulin resistance. So we're trying to make an insulin more sensitive so you don't have to uh, release a lot of insulins. 
Uh, second step is we want to uh, give your beta cell, which is uh, where the insulin is produced, give them a little bit rest so they don't work over hard over over time and very, work very hard, exhaust themselves, and uh, uh, they will have a, a healthy recover over time. So that's what we do and make the patient's uh, diabetes reversal. It's a very complex uh, pr uh, process, but it's uh, durable. That's great. You know, in the past, people had diabetes reversal programs that really just consisted of a diet and an exercise program. And clearly patients need a lot more than that. So I'm glad that you addressed the insulin resistance problem. Thank you, yes. And uh, we've been working hard. We have uh, two patients right now entering into five years on no medication and has not meet the uh, diagnosis criteria for even for pre-diabetes. And that's really sustained for them. That's great. Could you tell me a little bit about your atherosclerotic plaque volume reduction program? Uh, that's when I started when I was uh, a cardiac imaging director and involved a fitted hospital in Columbia, in New York. And we, I, my daily job starts seeing all these uh, ugly plaques. And then I questioned myself, I said, why we don't address the plaque itself. We always talk about the uh, controlled hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol, obesity, etc. But nobody directly uh, working on the plaque itself. So I started doing a little bit research and find the nature coronary uh, imaging study using high dose of a statin like a crestor and the lipidro, they actually can reduce the volume of the plaque. So that's given me some hope. And later on, we just move on with many clinical trials and we start to design our program. We, I started implanted in 2009 when I started my clinic. And with the many trial errors, initially my patients uh, stand the bypass rate about 70, 80%. We gradually reduced to 10%. Now in the last three years, not including 2020, uh, we have uh, one patient stand per year for three years. This year, so far, we have not referred any patient yet, but uh, this year has not ended yet. So I cannot count this year, but it's a really significant reduced uh, uh, stand rate, bypass rate also we have seen patients reduce hospitalization, reduce uh, their symptoms, uh, frequency, and also they have a better quality of life. Clearly, this is an extremely exciting uh, event because uh, in the past, you know, as we know, even having stents is not without its own risks. And, you know, every once in a while, every one of us hears about someone who was unaware of the plaques, which broke off, traveled to the brain and caused a stroke in a person right. that might not even be that old. Right. So that's really great. How will the patients uh, contact you when they've decided to participate in your diabetes reversal program? Well, they can check me on my Facebook my Facebook, I have a page called Heart Care Plus, and my office phone number is 601-932-8060, and my office email is heartcareplus at yahoo.com, and also we have a, a website called www.heartcare ttt.com. Many now, ways. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. I, I noticed that you're located in Texas, but if a person wanted to work with you who is no, not located in your locale, do you work with them with their local doctors or do you work with them on telehealth? 
I'm I'm located in Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, absolutely. We are uh, doing. Uh, we can do telemedicine, and uh, we can work with uh, their doctors if they that's so they wish. And we can uh, do many things together, and uh, and all they wish they can come to see us as well. It's in many way we can make it happen. Is there anything that they should do to prepare for a visit that they will be having with you? Yes, we'd like to have uh, their detailed medical history, and we like to have their medication list allergic reaction list and we want to have all these details uh, so uh, we also gonna do very comprehensive blood work when they come over so we will know uh, where to start so we design the personalized treatment plan that's excellent uh, before coming to you do you have also any tips for people who are on the verge of having a serious diabetic problem so that you could you know, prevent them from having a problem or on the other hand, uh, enable them to recognize that they do have an insulin resistance problem? Well, unfortunately diabetes is, is a silent disease. Usually they don't uh, have any symptoms until it's kind of late. Uh, so it's better for your doctor check you if you have some risk factors for, for example, you know you have unhealthy diet, you don't exercise, you're overweight, and that's a, a risk factors. Plus if you have a sleep apnea and high blood pressure, though usually they put you in the high risk category. So you should be checked with your doctor to make sure you don't have a diabetes or pre-diabetes. Uh, if you start the symptoms wise, usually your diabetes self is a, is a Latin name actually called sweet, uh, sweet urine. Mm -hmm. That's a Latin word really come from. Your urine becomes sweet and you really easily get a urinary tract infection, fungal uh, infection, and you, you, you sometimes uh, you become extreme thirsty and those are symptoms is usually present in the late stage, not in the earlier stage. But anyway, check with uh, your doctor, make sure you don't have diabetes or pre-diabetes. Okay, but nobody tests for your urine sweetness at home. <laughs> no, <That's> taste, right. <laughs> no tasting. <laughs> That's right. But uh, Nuri, Nuri was a brief doctor, taste the patient urine, and that's how the diabetes was found. Okay, but nowadays we have much better yes. ways to test it. Uh, well, absolutely. Well, it has been very exciting to have you on our show today. Thank you so much, Dr. Wang, for uh, sharing your knowledge with our listeners and for spending the time with us today. Thank you for having me here. I it's my, it was my pleasure.